Welcome to Hollywood Raw, where we show you a side of your favorite celebrities that you have never seen before. We release episodes on our podcast and here on YouTube every single Wednesday, so make sure to hit that bell and tap subscribe so you don't miss a beat. In this video, we are releasing some of our favorite clips from the biggest MTV stars. I'm not stuck in Teen Mom Land anymore. How much of that show do you feel was manipulated or scripted out or altered from like your reality? It's not what I feel, it's what I see, it's what I know. I feel like it was really awful. And I'm sure now even with like a Janelle situation, like the executives are like, well, if we get her to get a divorce, then we've won and then she can stay on. I mean, I don't, I'm not a little kid. I'm an adult. I live my own life. I signed on. You can either watch my life and follow it or you cannot. I don't want people being involved with my parenting, being involved with anything when I know that they're not going to be in my life in the long run. You can like have fun and be lighthearted like they want TV to be, but they were actually affecting people's lives, which I think crosses the line. I mean, the producers basically want to get famous. The producers now want to be on the show. So it got to a whole different level and not really that creative. Are you as impressed with the Kardashians as like I am? Because I think like the general public kind of shits on them, but I'm like, no, oh, you don't understand oh. what they have done is a miracle. I mean, like I'm broke right now. It's impossible to even make money as a real, like, like the fact that they, Kim's about to be a bit or is a billionaire now, or Kylie's a billionaire. Like these people are history book level awesome. But I, as a Swifty, I have to hate Kim, obviously. And, you know, until, <laughs> until she apologizes for setting up uh, Taylor. But Chris is a freaking genius. Like Chris could have been, she could have started WME with Ari and man, like she could have been, a power agent and to manage those personalities and continue making success with so many whoosh, whoosh, like the fact like all due respect to them like that they haven't been canceled for so many different things with how sensitive everyone is nowadays and you just just think like i've watched every episode of the show things that they've gotten away with was it really mike or was it some character per se that you kind of thought about going into the show i i like where your head's at it's a very good question because nobody has re ever really asked that and it is true uh when i did go on jersey shore i wanted to bring something new and I was a big fan of wrestling, and I was a big fan of The Rock at that particular time period, and a larger-than-life character. So I kind of used my own personality, but I kind of amped it up, and I, I, I sort of made it a character. I made it third person. I gave it a nickname, and I also had like you know different sayings and things like that that I would say over and over that eventually, you know, GTL and things like that became trend. So I kind of modeled it from that of an inspiration, which was the rock at that time. So I was 18, I was going to night school in Orange County at OCC, and I kind of had to make a decision, am I gonna move to LA and just pursue acting? And I was doing modeling, so I was driving there in the day going to night school, so I had to make a decision, moved up there, was laying out at the pool, and that's when Adam DeVello discovered me, because he was looking for an apartment for Lauren and Heidi and LA friends for them to have. So that's kind of how it started. I went and met with them, got on camera, and we filmed two weeks later. What What do you consider your first big break? MTV, for sure. MTV? MTV BBJ. was fucking amazing, dude. It was heaven. It was like getting a ticket to the ball, you know, like the coolest party or whatever. I mean, as a VJ, when I would hold an MTV microphone that had a cube on it that said MTV, immediately you were knighted as like the coolest person in the world. And it just felt cool to interview bands that I worshiped growing up and travel America and the world with it. And I was very fortunate. And the older I've gotten, the more I realized how much that time, how important it was to not just me, but to uh, this generation, you know, your generation. Yeah. 